Hello one and all, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon where things are not looking too brilliant. If you recall in the last episode, it's been a few days for me so I will also be reminding myself. We sent out a few people off to the... Where do we go? The Warrens. To collect some grain, to fill up our inventory with useless stuff instead of a nice amount of cash. Of which we have nil essentially, which is a going to be a problem I think, so if we're going to go anywhere we're going to have to go uh, light. Um, meanwhile, Dark Trojan now has a new quirk, move resist, pretty decent. Uh, no longer hopeless and he's got 70 stress back. Let's have a look down the bottom here at our previous stressed out people. So Dark Trojan flipped out completely, now he's back down to about 30 stress I believe. Can you tell me? No? Yes, 30. Zeke, however, is what I presume is a typo for trying one on, uh, although that could be uh, some sort of idiom in another dialect that I don't understand, uh, refuses to leave the bar, so we can't actually take Zeke this week either, which is brilliant, fantastic, lovely, wonderful. Uh, Ellie is now a tippler and will only drink. <laughs> uh, it's slightly worse than not being allowed to gamble, uh, to quite a considerable extent. And Sajiris has also recovered 69 stress, which is the best amount of stress to recover. So what shall we do now? Well, we can't afford anything at all. We shall therefore probably go and have a look at what the options are. Uh, this is the party we took last time, who actually are all pretty much fine, I think, if I scroll to the top. Ash is the most stressed of the set that we've got here. Unfortunately, uh, we'll sort actually by level and show that these, at least Snowlin, uh, Ed as well, possibly Ash, are all in risk of becoming level 5. Which is not something I want to happen, because we do have level uh, 3 bosses that we'd like to kill. So what I think we should probably do therefore is try and do exactly that. Um, so where should we go? Hopefully by doing this we can bring back... Ah, that may not be a great idea because... Let's have a look at these. Everyone will disappear, that's fine. A short apprentice mission in the Warrens. We've got a short veteran, we've got a medium apprentice, which is obviously the boss, we've got one here. We've got a short apprentice scout mission. We're probably going to have to do one of these two, because we can't afford much. So we can't really do a long, uh, a medium or long mission, basically. We're not going to be able to afford the torches. We might just about be able to afford that much stuff. Um, but honestly, if we're going to go anywhere, it should be you know, the, the ruins or possibly the warrens. The wield and the cove are just far too dangerous with such a, a limited set of options, basically. So, what do we do? Maybe we take an Ellie mission, a bagel Ellie. Let's, let's spec a, a level 3 mission. And let's pick this one. No, we don't want to go there. Short veteran. At least we have a healer at that level. And we can get bagel to level 4. Which will make him a lot more useful, in fact, if we wanted to do a boss next when we've got a bit more cash. So that's probably not too bad of an idea. Unfortunately, these uh, antiquarian missions can be quite quite difficult to do. I mean, maybe we could do something like this and just have a decent amount of DPS, a decent amount of tank. You know, Holmesy is a, a really decent character up at this level now that we've got a good selection of things going on. We've got the riposte, which is almost always useful. Not because... You know, it doesn't do anything on its turn, but the number of times it can do damage once it's in effect, it can basically do damage to every unit that attacks Holmesy on their turn, which could be all four of them, provided it hits, etc, etc. You know, modulo dice rolls. Uh, and then, we might as well bring Psycho out just to have a slightly higher level uh, frontline person, basically. Now, I've talked about this before. This props and marks us, but we don't want to do that with uh, Man at Arms, who is going to prot and mark themselves, or at least mark themselves and set up riposte. So it's not a terrible idea to have something that's a little bit more backup oriented, like Battle Heal, maybe like Holy Lance to get us back into position, because everything else is obviously front two only. And I assume this means that we can heal the third position. I think I've said that before as well. See how it's an outline? I think that means that we can target the first three on this side. Which isn't really made clear here, but there you go. 
There's also Holy Lance, which I said uh, helps us get forward back into position so that we can use our front two thing is it's, it's a forward one so we still have to use it twice but it does attack something so it's essentially a move with a bit of damage or there's this which has torch stress heal and a bit of heal on it i think i'm going to stick with battle heal just in case bagel is out of commission or in the wrong position for some reason uh but rather than waffling on i think we might as well just go for it because uh what are our options really prot and crit virtue stress death blow blight bleed okay i mean you're not going to be taking necessarily most of the damage, is the uh, is the thing. Torch below 10%. Which makes me wonder whether we want something that will just do more damage in... Where do we decide we go? In the Warrens, which is going to be Beasts and Eldritch? That sounds about right. I mean, maybe we don't take the Prot and Crit, and in fact we just give you more damage versus Beast. Or more Blight Resist. Mm, the Disease Resist is maybe not brilliant. Get out of here. No. Uh, it wants to swap them. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, debuff resist, disease resist could be decent. We're not camping and we'll come home with the disease it, it's persistent, which is a, a small concern. So maybe we take more accuracy, maybe we take more damage versus human is not that useful in the warrens. Yeah, I think we just take the the beast slayer's ring. The amount of dodge we lose is not too much of a concern because don't forget with Ellie we're mostly going to be spamming that dodge buff anyway. What we got here? More max HP is okay with me. Uh, that's everything we've got there. But again, we can have something like a Beast Slayer's Ring or that Protection Charm. Yeah, more stress damage for less actual damage. Maybe. I mean, there's a chance we stress right out on this. There are a lot of stress dealers. Hmm. I think that seems okay. Let's not waste time. Uh, we want the Book of Everything Better. And the book of specifically better. Maybe the scouting chance is decent. Or maybe... Oh, an Eldritch. Slayer's Ring. That could be very valuable. Yeah, yeah. Um, what have we got here? Beast. I mean, I could give you... Just more... Let's do more damage to Eldritch. Then we've got a good all-round damage dealing crew at the front. Uh, I will give you more... You've got a stun, actually. So maybe the stun amulet. Wherever it's gone. Stun, 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 stun. Come on, though, man. We really need to figure out what we're doing with these things. Hello? Stun amulet. Minus four dodges. Quite a lot. But a good stun resist on it. That's actually quite valuable. Uh, no, that's not you. What am I doing? I thought that was Holmesy there. Look. <laughs> it's the first and probably last one that I'm going to do today, so... Um, it's quite late, is what I'm saying. I'm not really... 100% with it right now, and it's been a while since I did the recording, so I've forgotten how to do it. Uh, what are we going to do with Ellie? Like, we normally give her a book, right? So we might as well just give her a book. There you go. And you are going to get the usual pair of this, and probably the 15% one, rather than the um, rather than the stressing out one, because we'd like people to not go completely uh, do Lally, and of course, Bagel is starting with 25% already, which is quite a lot. So it's a short mission, so we don't need too much stuff. I will take 12 food, though, if I can afford it, yeah. But that's probably all we're really likely to take. Maybe a couple of shovels. Can we even afford any? We can afford something else. I guess we take a key, because we are bringing the Antiquarian. So we're going to want to be able to interact with those curios that might need a key, I don't know. If There's a strong chance, I think, that the battles in rooms that we do are going to be for one of those chests with the secret compartments in better place to begin than the seat of our noble So all we're doing is 100% of room battles, all we're doing. Uh, just try to ignore everything that's... Uh, I don't know. Let's get Ellie to do it. I mean, we're really here for the stuff, right? Uh, good start, good start. Hemophilia. Well, now you've got horrible bleed resist. Well done. Again, we couldn't really do anything about that. We haven't got any... Oh, dear. Good thing I brought a shovel as well. I haven't really got... Wait, we're not in the Warrens at all. Wow, I really screwed that one up. I remembered the trinkets, but I forgot where I was going. It's okay. Um, I did actually take no human, <laughs> human damage, but that's also fine. Why are you stunned? Can you not be? That would be good. 
Right, let's pretend this is fine. I think it is. Everyone's stunned, but you know what are you gonna do? Which means I'm probably gonna try stunning one of them. To give us a greater chance of being able to do stuff on the next turn that's that's useful to us. That moves you forwards as well. Interesting. I mean you both, you're interchangeable. You're both just as good in both positions, which is also fine. More dodge might allow us to take a possible stun and avoid it. So now we'll activate repost on ourselves. That's that one. Yes. Do it. No. Retribution 3. Do I have to attack one of them? I do. Oh, you dodged it. So, I've completely forgotten how to control computers in the past five minutes. There are beasts here, which is... It means that this is not a waste, I suppose. But uh, it was a small... A small, massive oversight to have set up for the wrong... Um, dungeon, but the only real setup for this dungeon that I shouldn't have done uh, is to bring the Eldritch Slayer's Ring rather than the Manslayer's Ring. Really, it's a minor mistake, but it's predicated on a much bigger mistake. Thank you both for resisting, by the way. It's really valuable. Yeah, the, the mistake that it's based on, which is not remembering where you're actually going, is much worse than the mistake th than the way it turned out to be, which is just it was fine. So this is a fine start. We have got a couple of shovels, and that's a lot of money. I'm gonna switch you around anyway, because I feel like people are attacking the front a little bit more. Say so people, I mean monsters. People at the front are being attacked. Seems bent on preventing. So honestly, it really doesn't matter. They're both perfectly good in both positions. So they're essentially the same type of character. They're both frontline tanky positions. Right, no room battle here. No scout either. We did bring 10% scouting on Ellie, but it's still only 10%, you know? I don't think anyone's a ruins tactician. Excuse me. Thanks for dodging, but still. Ruins tactician? You're a ruins tactician. That's more damage. Ah. It's a ruins scrounger that would be the... Right, okay. Ellie? Fuck. <laughs> I know it contains loot. Ellie's supposed to be looking for the loot. loot. The extra food is probably really useful. Supplies. Oh, please be good. Holmesy, you're just cycling through. Oh, oh, okay. It cost us torch, which is a bad thing, because we do have some backtracking to shush now. We do have some backtracking to do. Of course, the backtracking will not affect the torch too much, but getting there is going to. So this could be bad. That's a quarter of our available... Um, quarter of our possible stress in one hit. Four of those and we're out, you know? And that's not too good. So we activate Riposte. We might as well do damage to the stress dealer. I think at this stage Riposte is probably the most useful thing. Right, what are you? Unholy. Actually, we've done really well here. Because this is plus 25 damage versus Unholy. Does have 33% protection. But this... More of those is going to be brilliant. Perfect. If you could dodge more. I mean, you do have a buff to it. No? Abyssal Artillery may be what we want to go for here. But I'm wondering how much damage this thing will actually do to us. It has Crushing Blow, which is a debuff, and Ground Pound is a stun. So we have seen it before, and I don't remember it as being, oh my god, avoid it, like that crab. Remember the crab that does eight points of damage? Perfect, thank you for doing that. Uh, a bleed for eight points of damage? I'm going to re recognize that crab, you know, everywhere I go. That's going to be in my dreams. It's going to be haunting my living nightmares of, oh, I can't go anywhere without thinking that crab, that crab, it's going to get me. But this thing, in contrast... I don't really remember. Which, I suppose sounds a little bit rude, you know. I don't remember you. What the hell. I'm going to try this again. Try and get rid of them both if I can. This is exactly how that went down. It was a bit of a risk not to do the the healing there. But I think that was actually the exact right thing to do. This is actually a decent um, debuff. That happens to everything, which I kind of want to pay some attention to. Did I want to do that? Yes, I did. Kinda didn't check the stun resist beforehand. Had I done so, I may not have done that attack. But I'm sort of glad that I, I went ahead with that. Sort of 
all guns blazing type of thing. Now we do the weird reconstruction. Yeah, 13 is a decent one. Um, we did want to <laughs> heal at some point. That's kind of the point of the of bringing Bagel along in the first place. But being able to get off that double crit abyssal artillery was just so very, very good. I'm extremely pleased to have done so. So you're going to do a bit of damage and you're going to do slightly more damage. It's the Houndmaster, by the way, in case you've forgotten, which I always do. It's the Houndmaster that allows us to remove protection. So that must be a low chance to actually um, stun each unit, because we all resisted it. 21, 28. So I'm going to heal Ellie, even though she has less HP. Ooh, that's one of the first times that's... That's like probably the third time that's happened in all these 40-odd episodes that we've been doing this. Yeah, she, she just needs... She's closer to death, basically, is the, is the idea there. So we're doing actually really well on these... Um, these curios, these fights. We haven't even got this from curios. There's a decent amount of stuff already. We've got another shovel, which, you know, I was worried about in the first place. And in fact, there's an obstacle right here. We don't have to go that way, but I am going to because we're kind of doing really, really well. Hopefully there's a torch. Well, we're doing okay on torches, and it could get dark, but... Okay. It'll get dark. <laughs> what are you going to do? We had holy water as well, so we could have actually probably cleansed that... Uh, those turn. Is this always good? Ellie, find out. Yes. Uh, I mean, we could de-stress somebody, but I think we want to get the, as much out of it as we can. It's a buff anyway. We didn't get a, uh, an antique, so we're learning about that too. And there is a fight next. Oh, for five minutes. Right, beat the shit out of it. Is it unholy? It's eldritch. It's human. So I've got the wrong thing here. That's okay. I think we try to stun it as much as possible here. If I use uh, Psycho to stun it, and Holmesy sets up a riposte, I think that'll get us the best advantage out of the first turn here. We basically gave ourselves a free turn. How much is that? 102 HP is just an outstanding amount of HP. So you've got some dodge, but not a lot. And you do do some damage. But I think what we want to do here is keep people alive. I mean, these 19 rolls are great. What the heck is that, though? <laughs> what? Oh, of course, Ellie's got this hemophilia from that from those urns that I should have done better, to be fair, but still. Uh, Ellie's got a much greater chance of actually taking a bleed. It's only six points of damage, but... You know, our previous heal was completely eradicated by its own negative effects. Uh, Bello, I think, at this point is worthwhile. Minus 7 dodge and minus 6 speed basically means that, you know, we've got a very good chance of going first on every round. Well, this one will now have a, a better chance, obviously, because it resisted the debuff. There was a, uh, some stress heal there because we actually crit. The, the 4 heal, I mean, the crit heal was only 4. We did get some stress heal out of it as well. So we're going to have to probably keep healing Ellie up. Um, well, I think at this stage we start laying the smack down with some, some mad deeps. Because these are all Eldritch. And that, I believe, has a bonus to Eldritch. Yeah. So actually, Bagel could be a very good damage dealer in this situation. Uh, Zeno's Accusation... Nothing has the, uh, the likelihood of killing anything straight away. So we'll just do as much damage as we can to one unit to try and reduce the amount of actual attacks each particular unit will get. For goodness sake, Ellie. <laughs> I know you've got a, a much greater chance of that happening than everybody else, but at the same time, you also have a really high dodge. So, could you, like, not, like? Plus 20 damage until camp. Of course I had to get Ellie to do that thing. In future, we'll try and remember um, that... Oh, can't crush that. I guess we crush this. Um, we'll try and remember that Ellie shouldn't use the Altar of Light, and in fact, any other unit, especially a damage dealer, is probably the correct one there. I wasn't actually expecting that to not leave a corpse. Don't like this. You are a healer. You crazy character. Go first. Oh, I didn't go first. Can't hit that. Both. This one's more likely. This one could actually die. So I think we hit this one. Not a fan. 
not got repost. We've run out of repost. We might have to uh, attend to that. Weirdly reconstruct yourself. 15 is actually more than it stole, but I'd like it never to ever do that again if entirely possible. Right, so everyone, please actually ex exercise these dodges that I've given you. It's 21. You've got 21 dodge. Do something about it. We need to kill this, though. It's just going to keep spawning these sons of a bitches. So this is turning into a very difficult fight because everybody is actually succumbing to these bleeds. So there's a Vestal. Uh, not, not ideal. Uh, okay. That's actually he healed for more than we originally, um, <laughs> more than we've hurt it for recently. I mean, I guess we just try and avoid some damage as much as possible. Last indeed. No one's dodged anything, which is awful. Give them right, bring that forward so we can reach it. We need to throw out two heals at once, but we can't, unfortunately. I want to set up repost, but I also just want to do damage. And we'd have to roll very high to kill that, and it doesn't get a go, so maybe we do set up repost? Try and perform more damage as a result of that. Uh, now you will fix... I want to say Ellie again, but she's just going to bleed. And you've got a guaranteed X amount of damage to happen to you. <gasps> this is quite a difficult thing to... I mean, Ellie needs to not die first, right? Because Psycho can heal himself. Yeah, bled again. And we didn't bring any bandages because we couldn't afford them. That's a stress attack, but it did get us off from repost off. And we, not, we need to be able to hit this thing, but we really, really can't. It's just so... You know, it's too far away. I mean, we could get Bagel to do these attacks, but then that wastes the only healing that we've got. That also wastes the only healing that we've got, but okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks very much, Bagel. You dick. I mean, what do we do here? We can't hit. Right, right. Let's try reversing this. I know, um... Psycho's basically going to be undoing his own healing all the time. Headache, you say. A buff. More damage, more accuracy, more crit. This is wearing off as well. We need to keep this up. I'm going to try and get Bagel to do the damage. And it's it's really, really risky. Um, because he's the only healing we've got. Anyone who does any damage like this... Now we can't use Bagel to do the damage, you see? And I'm assuming it's going to be the same combat each time. So we can't retreat and try again. So this could actually be a... Ooh, that's what we like to see. This could be a very big deal right now. So... But what I'm thinking is we need to get more of those heals so everyone can get to full HP. And then really, really stop whacking this son of a bitch out properly. Getting some real damage done. That was an excellently wasted move, actually, so thank you for doing that. And then Eli steals again. Alright, we actually dodged it, but still. By the time we get around to doing any damage to it, it then starts life stealing. So we need to damage this, and we can't reach it, except with Bagel. But Bagel's a healer. See my dilemma. People keep getting right up to the edge of death before I get another go. Which means I have to bring it forwards. But I can't do enough damage to get it into a position where I can hit it. I mean, even Ellie can't stab it. Ellie can heal as well. That's interesting. I mean, maybe we try that. She heals herself. And then lets Bagel have a turn. What is this, anyway? Less dodge, less speed. I mean, if we knock this back, that'll put this in a position where it can be stabbed by Ellie. And it does have a... And you're healing now, which is exactly what I would prefer you did. You can... Probably gonna... Yeah. Stop. Oh, it's a good bleed resist. You do have high bleed resist, I suppose. So now Bagel can actually do the attack, and so can Ellie. That was 10 damage, so if we can keep that there, that's only going to take 10 fucking rounds to deal with, and that'll be fine. I'm sure. 
We can crush it from here as well. Maybe we should set up Retribution again. Although we haven't really had too much of an effect from it. Let's just keep hitting it. We're actually starting to do a decent amount of damage. And I think Psycho can heal himself. And therefore we can do this. Just heal yourself a little bit. Keep yourselves alive using the small heals and then Bagel can occasionally do big heals. So that was really very welcome. You keep healing that. I don't mind that at all. Basically wasting your turns. Lifesteal is dodged, which is great. We need to get this dodge back up though. That wasn't great, but at least it resisted. At least he resisted. It was resisted is what I tried to say, but I failed to. You bled. That's really unlikely to happen. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm extremely tempted to just use the heal here. If I heal you, then you don't die. That's basically what I have to do. Because Psycho can't heal back there. Fine. No worries with that. That's a stress attack. But a tiny amount of damage is okay. Psycho heals himself. Bagel heals himself. Oh my goodness. So I was not expecting this, you can probably imagine. 15 is fine. No one stab Ellie. Psycho's going to have to heal Ellie, just to keep Ellie alive. Which completely puts pay to my plans. Crush this. Thank you for actually critting for once in this entire fucking match. Alright, we're nearly there. 11 freaking rounds though. One more. Okay. Fine. Bagel, I don't care about your bleeding. You're going to... Please do really well here. That's fine. You actually resisted it, which is not very likely, and I'm uh, pleased with you having done so. The buff is fine. Ellie, please kill this. <gasps> what? <laughs> dodge it. Oh my god. Fucking dodge it, mate. About to break. Fine. Stress them out. They're all going in for therapy at the end of this anyway. What I really care about is this being dead, and it ain't. Right, we heal ourselves. Six, three. Heal yourself. So you're going to have to heal Ellie again, even though I really don't want you to. 14 is also good. Stacking up these bleeds though, she's not going to survive it just because it hurts her so much. Like, we can't get rid of that. There's nothing we can do. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Right. I mean, now it's easier. I, I don't know of a way of actually healing Ellie beyond this 6 damage per round. That's just going to kill her straight up. Well, that's a good dodge. But what we can do is maybe feed her. Get enough food in her, uh, get enough HP in her to begin with. Man, trying to heal against all this is just silly. Now you're on death's door, okay. But we've nearly got this fight in the bag as well, which is really upsetting. No, 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 no. Oh, for f fuck's sake. This has turned out to be the worst fight I've ever had to do. We're doing such shit things. Ellie got haemophilia at the start of all this. There's basically no point uh, sticking around because we can't finish, right? Not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. There's no point fighting it because we can't win the rest of the run. So we've basically had to uh, abort this far too early. Holmesy is now dead. Our level 4 um, Mana Arms is now dead. In time, Which is a huge shame because Holmesy has been a really good character all this time. Uh, so basically that was all down to the fact that there was one fight that we were just not prepared for. And that was because that thing ended up at the back. And we had no back damage at all. Which... I, I had counted, I'd noticed it when I was setting up the party. I thought, yeah, I could take a Hellion, have some damage at the back, then Bagel can still do healing. But I really did not expect so much to go wrong on that. Cause we just stacked up bleeds and bleeds and bleeds because Ellie had taken Haemophilia, which was really unfortunate because I, I had the holy water to clear that thing. So that was completely my fault. 
But I mean, of all the, <laughs> of all the things to have caught, it's the one that basically killed us. Well, we now have uh, space in the roster for a new person. We do have another Vestal. So, Holmesy, you get to be a new Vestal. And I hope you appreciate this. Sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Pious and unrelenting, Holmesy. Holmesia? Ah, I just call that Holmesy. I don't want to try and make a pun out of every time we resurrect somebody. So, Holmesy and Zeke are now both available, which is really, really good. We have been playing for 31 minutes, so... Well, 30-ish minutes. I started recording way before the game had loaded. But I think I'm going to call it there, because... I'm not salty, I understand that this is going to happen, and, you know, it was a difficult fight, but I didn't think it was outrageous. It wasn't one of those stupid co-fights that I hate so much, and we've actually, we did pick up some money, so, we, you know, we doubled our income, it was worth sending everybody out. Um, but, I was unprepared for it, and it was a very difficult fight, it was hard to keep on top of, and I'm sure I could have done better, but at the time I, I just, I flaked, I folded, I didn't know what to do. So, I think what we'll try and do is take out some of these low-level peoples with some of these mid-level peoples. And that seems like a good idea, because then we can obviously... Not everyone will die at once, is what I'm suggesting. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. And until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, do leave a comment or a like if you must, or, you know, get, to get in touch on Twitter or on the Googles. Uh, if you'd like to give me any advice or abuse. But, if you wouldn't, Thank you for watching anyway, and I'll see you next time.